Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in one of the previous videos I had Earth orbiting Sagittarius A star, the central black hole, and I actually promised you that I'll show you how to actually create your own sort of modifiable solar system or star systems where you can have any planets in orbit around any object. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to do this in Space Engine, and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is actually a pretty easy process, it just requires you to edit a few files um, in your Space Engine folder and uh, you may actually be able to do this uh, within a couple of minutes. So here's how to do this pretty quickly. We're going to actually um, go into the main Space Engine folder and right here under add-ons uh, you need to create a folder called catalogs. And then if you click on this, there's another folder called Planets. Now these actually do have various names, I believe uh, there's one for stars, there's one for other objects, but we're only placing Planets today, so we're going to go, go in here and click on this, and you'll see that I made a file called My System, and this actually has to be uh, written specifically like this, with capital M, capital S, and its extension is .sc. If you open this file, now I'm actually going to be using uh, my favorite Notepad++ to open this up. Uh, you'll see that it has a bunch of information here, but we really just need to change one thing. Its name and its parent body. You can also change the other stuff, but all of this can be changed later on by uh, pressing Shift F2 in the game. Now, how do you get this though? It's actually pretty easy. You go into space engine and you basically go in and find the uh, orbital body around which you want to construct or create a new planet. So for example if I'm dealing with Sagittarius A star I'm going to go into the search engine here and type Sagittarius A star basically jump to it and um, open up the Sagittarius A star parameters you can also actually get closer to it if you want to see it and because we're actually placing these objects around Sagittarius A star, we're actually going to need to choose one of the other objects. So for example, the uh, star S2 that I've talked about in other previous videos, it's a very, very famous star uh, that reaches really high velocities around Sagittarius A star, up to 5,000 kilometers per second. But anyway, click Shift F2, and then right here, under this panel, you need to click on Export Script. This will uh, export the script code S2.sc, which is the name of the star, into the folder that is under the main space engine under exports. You can see I have two here already because I exported Earth previously and I also exported S2 right now. Um, and basically you take this, you open this up and it's going to look something like this. Now, you, I basically just copied this entire thing into my system file, my system.sc. Here's actually what this structure looks like here. Um, and uh, I modified the name and I changed the name uh, of the star from S2 to Earth3. And I changed a few other parameters here as well. And basically once you save this file, and just for fun now, let's actually maybe place our Earth around something else. Uh, I, I actually wanted to place it around Crab Pulsar, just for fun. So we're going to actually place it around Crab Pulsar. Um, and so we're going to change the name here from Sagittarius A star to Crab Pulsar. And we're going to save this file and basically restart uh, Space Engine. So once you restart Space Engine, you will now be able to go into uh, the search engine, type Earth3, and look at that. It's now around Crab Pulsar. And it's essentially uh, inside the, uh, the nebula known as Crab Nebula. So this is actually how you can place Earth or really any planet around any object anywhere you want. And in essence, can create any kind of a customizable um, star system, solar system, or really any kind of a system in general, including some of the more crazier ones with black holes orbiting pulsars, pulsars orbiting uh, asteroids, or anything orbiting anything really. Now, that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to show you how to create these uh, interesting systems where you can actually do it uh, by just modifying a few files. In one of the future videos, we're actually going to create something a little bit more unusual, something that looks even more exotic, but I'm not going to spoil it uh, just yet. And I'd like you guys to come back tomorrow, because you might actually learn something else, and 
you might find out something you didn't really know before. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your support. Space out, and as always, bye bye. Oh, and by the way, Space Engine is absolutely free, and you can actually get it from a Space Engine website, which is in the uh, description below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.